Welcome back to another Joy Tour review. In this review, we're going to be taking a look at the North Firehammer Assault Mech. This is a 118 scale mech and figure set, and this is the packaging it comes in. On the front, we can see the name on, across the top, the North Firehammer Assault Mech. We see a nice artwork. I like the yellow and black background, kind of like yellow smoke, looks really cool. On the bottom left, we have the scale, which is 118th. On the bottom right, we have the Joy Toy and Battle for the Stars logo. Now as a warning and a heads up, these this is probably some of the nicest packaging on the outside, but the interior package is absolutely ridiculous. You can pick this up. This is your $90 mech. What does that mean? Well, here's the front flap. Looks really nice. And here's the interior. All the stuff is thrown in there and in and, and a big old whole clamshell. So so this side of the packaging, they're putting the instructions on the sides. We have the schematic diagram of the weapons assembly. On the bottom, we have the movable joints, fully hand painted. And it shows you how to assemble the weapons on the arms and to combine them together. On this side, it shows you some of the schematic diagrams of the arm deformation. Four steps, we have the North 118 scale. Battle for the Stars logo again at the bottom. Top of the box is a Joy Toy. Bottom of the box is Joy Toy. Back of the box we have the North Fire Hammer Assault Mech on the top left. The Joy Toy and Battle for the Stars logo again on the right. Some nice uh, photographs of the figure in the mech. All the figure and his accessories geared down. And on the bottom half we have a bunch of information you guys can pause and read. Company information, uh, product information. Warnings, it's not uh, for children under the age of three. This product is not a toy, it's a doll collectible, recommended for ages 17 and up, and so forth. And a statement there in yellow by Joy Toy, a UPC, which doesn't matter to anybody in the United States. So, that's your packaging. Just to give you a better idea of the poor packaging, I just saw this all the box on the table, and this is what it's going to look like. Like the hanging air piece of tape is all the interior stuff. Yeah, you know, so I'll get it all taken out. We'll take a look at it. Hopefully, it's not broken. So here's a fire hammer. I saw mech outside the packaging, pretty well put together. Take a look at the overall um, aesthetics and articulation at the same time. Let's we'll start from the from the top. So on the head here, we have this is articulated up and down. We have the eye or some kind of sensor array we have these little uh, rocket launchers or laser targeting system not sure there's no instructions on what this is but that's what the top of it looks like um, on the arms here we have these little panels that raise up and you can bring out um, the arm uh, just gotta be careful that panel don't pop down and you don't push too hard and break it off kind of looks like that so that's how far the arms will go up. <laughs> Just pulled that one off. That one was actually disassembled outside of the packaging. You gotta be very careful with that little door because if you push too hard and it gives out on you, you're going probably going to snap that um, little door right off. I've seen that in the uh, Transformers uh, Fans Toys Dinobots. They were doing that. The Iron Diebots, for example. So they have the FTA. Look here was this free truth alliance. I just stick that on anywhere. We have a 13 over here. We have some white paint on the chest, some white arrows down, some red um cylinders, kind of a weird place if you get what I mean. Then we have triangles here on the thighs of 13. Some more white dots on the thighs there. On the arms we have some white here, some a little white on the back. They kind of go throughout all the way around on these arms, on these um Blasters or whatever you want to call them. So for the arm articulation We have 360 rotation at the silver cylinder. We have a 360 rotation here Also, then we have the bendable elbow and Then we have rotation just below that also so rotation here and here we have a water side decal here What this is for is that almost like a perfect uh, Quick switch for another weapon. So you have the hands obviously in which they want you to do on these is you just spin this around And then you got cannons you got twin cannons both arms do that. So that's pretty cool 
So that's what that would look like. But since you have articulation here and here, you probably just want to use the joint on the very bottom closest to the housing because that way you can utilize the, ups, the up and down on the joint with the bent of the elbow. Looks really good. Okay, for the fist, we have uh, fingers all articulated single, individually. If you get them a little stiff, we have a th three fingers and a thumb. So they do spread quite well like that. And then they can be moved side to side, obviously, like that. Uh, then they have it, it's almost like your finger. We have a bend here, we have a pin knuckle, we have a base articulation. And that's on all the fingers. So that's how that looks as an open hand. And it's a very deep range. You can grab my finger pretty good like so. That's really nice. Those hands are beautifully made. I really like those. Here's a fisted hand. If you want to see what a fisted hand looks like. As for the legs, let's see. Let's see if we can get him. I'm going to get his arms out of the way and we'll take a look at him. I'm going to say the talents on these arms are much different than the other her. The counterpart to this one. Um, so I want to show you something. So you can either do a straight legged version. Or you can do that bipod looking like kind of like as it's called, and you get a little more height on the other straight leg versus this. That's why it's it's kind of wobbling around. So I wanted to leave it like that just to show you. Then we have some yellow and black uh, warning stripes here on the back of these pieces. Those are only held on by just little little square pegs. That's probably all. That's what that looks like inside. Both sides are the same. This is what the side of the leg looks like with the block here. We do have a removable armor on this piece here on the back of the leg. So for the articulation, they go tremendously out like this. Yeah, that that being that stiff is irritating. There we go. Looks good. Okay, so we can do uh, a sitting position. I can pick his feet all the way up like that, so if you'd ever need to do that for any reason, but it looks pretty good. We have rotation, thigh rotation, basically. We have a bendable, what can we call it, the knee right there. They want to have a joint right here. I just pulled off the uh, thing. I'm not sure if this is all properly seated. This is definitely more fitting than the first one I did review for. The you know, Snark one, I think it was called. And then you bend that so that the feet, the toe goes up, toe goes down. Obviously, you know, this swivels all the way around. Articulation there. All kinds of articulation in the feet. So it looks really good. So I'm getting cleaned up and we'll take a look at the interior. Okay, for the interior, just got to pull down this bottom piece. This mine's kind of stiff. Erase this up. Inside you have a brown seat. You have a little movable joystick there. Looks pretty good. Nothing more to see. Other than that, let's see. Some light in there. Looks good. So you just have to make sure you close the top, then the bottom. No, I'm sorry. The bottom first on this one. And that comes down. No, you gotta kinda like do it together. Mmm, this is different than the other one. Kinda fits like that. That's interesting. On the back here, we have these little wing type things. They flop around. They have like a cylinder here as part of the housing. Maybe it's a power cell, I'm guessing. Some yellow here, yellow stripes there. These little holes are for the other mech. This is the same parts used over again. So unfortunately, we just don't have nothing here. Some more water slide decals there. That's what those black back panels look like with the white and red on. Looks really interesting. So the mech actually comes with a very large pistol. It's just all black. Pretty cool. Pretty large for a mech with a pistol. That's pretty cool. And then it comes with two bladed weapons. We have this gunmetal red in that same color of the housing, like a dark gray. It's pretty cool. It has a nice edge on it. And then we have this sword here. It's a short sword. Same pattern, different style though. Different style blade red here. Some gray on the handle and on the base. 
So you can actually assemble these together if you didn't want a two single weapons. You can make one large weapon. It just goes into the handles like that. That's what that looks like. And we'll see how well he holds it. Pulls it open very nicely. You can see you can put all three fingers in there and then the thumb on the other side. But it looks really, really good. It's a very large bladed weapon. And he can hold his pistol. He can get his one finger pretty much through the hole on the uh, trigger. And just thumb on the other side. Looks pretty good. That's how it looks like on that side. So, yeah, they work out pretty nicely. Now for storage for the weapon for the Mac, you take the pistol and the small sword, put it through the trigger guard, it fits really nice. I think that's a great feature to keep you from having too many pigs or too many holes to end. It takes away from the aesthetics of the, of the figure. So you can store it there on his arm or with this other weapon. It's pretty good. And the longer blade one, you can just step, stick on this side. Or you can it actually do, you can make some match them. They have pig holes on either side if you want to put the pistol there on that one versus on the uh, other side so it's nice I did find a place to put the pistol along with the blades I thought that was really really cool all right so let's take a look at the action figure it looks really really cool I love this figure just a normal uh, white male black hair faces faces expression this is definitely some new parts and new plate armor here. That is fantastic. That is amazing. We have the FTA there. The black, the gray, some white. There's a lot of colors going on. We have some orange and red here. We have some red, some orange. This is definitely new thigh pads I haven't seen before. We have red around the arm up here. Uh, these are definitely entirely new parts. So that's good. We'll probably be seeing them again. But it's nice to finally see some new... Uh, new uh, parts for our figures this is a very nicely done figure so for articulation he said this rotate 360 he looks down he looks up side to side because he has no scarf arms rotate 360 um i'm force it they got about that much 360 rotation at the elbow bendable elbows give you um 90 degrees yep no problem and it looks like we have the still the new style hands or are these the old style hands. Yep, there's a new style. Don't want a ball, so you kind of rotate, rotate it 360 in any up, down, or up the right position you want. There's chest articulation. You can't use it because the uh, vest is on. We have a waist rotation 360, but it's really stiff and because of the belt. But it will turn for a split. You're gonna get about that much because of the gun case. Uh, not too much on this leg. Been very stiff. Um, run into some resistance there for the sitting. I uh, don't think that's going to sit very well. Because the way that crotch piece is made. Uh, with thigh rotation right there, right there. With double joint knees. And foot down. Nothing up. Um, there's really no rotation at all on this. Oh, there it is. We have 360 rotation already around. That'll give you a little bit of side to side then, but there's barely any up. You can see how it hits the top of the shoe there. Um, that's disappointing about the sitting. I think they have the order. Yeah, see that the thigh is hitting the crotch piece right there. So he's not, not again another figure made that has huge potential, and it comes with a vehicle that where potentially would sit, or even on the new quads. The Wildcat quads, and now we have issues with sitting. Uh, that's terrible. I'm afraid to push that. I'm not going to break it. So let's take a look at his accessories that he comes with. He comes with a fantastic helmet that I think is amazing, in my opinion. I love the color pattern, the black and the gray. The overall uh, Commander Cody kind of look on the, on the visor there. Some black, some white, some blue on the back. We have a little bit of, uh, it's like a, some kind of, it's very small. There's some kind of insignia there. And what's nice about this, it fits right over his head. There you go. Look how amazing that looks.
That's probably really good. Really nice uh, 360 look at the figure. So probably pick holes on the bottom of his feet. Very nice. Because it is a very small pistol, it has a this black one that gets silver dry brushing on it. And you can see he holds this pistol pretty nicely. You can get the finger almost in the hole. I guess if you work out, you might be able to get it. Pretty good. So let's see how well it fits in his holster, which is one of the uh, common issue problems with these figures, and it's not an issue. That's a little loose. But I figured the pistol fits beautifully. So it also comes with a assault rifle, not an assault rifle, um, a submachine gun. I'm thinking it's kind of a smaller, it may be an assault rifle, but it's kind of really small. It's just a black gun with the grip, and it doesn't have that stupid piece that holds the stock and the, the pistol grip, no, the grip together. So looks really good. Okay, there he is holding the weapon. Holds it pretty nicely. He can hold the weapon with both hands, which is fantastic that looks. This is an amazing overall looking figure. Looks very, very cool. So the million dollar question is, does he fit in the cockpit? Probably does, because the other one did. And we'll take a look and see how he does, but he suffers from the stiff leg problems like the other figures suffered from the uh, one leg stiff leg, I guess. Okay, let's see how she, he looks. Okay, as you can see, he does fit and he can hold the joysticks. Uh, the legs are a little wonky. I think it, it could be uh, cleaned up a lot more if the overall sculpt was better, but it, it gets the job done. He kind of looks weird in an uncomfortable position, but you can shut it. I kind of got to bring these two together. It's different from the other one. If you've seen that video I made for you guys. And then there he is. He's inside. So he fits. So at least he fits and can hold the joystick. That's definitely a plus. Okay, here he is with the comparison with the other Snark Commando mech. So with his teammate, the female pilot, along with the other mech. So what I don't like is that the interior packaging is pretty crappy, poor presentation, poor quality control. The action figure is, could have been absolutely perfect if it wasn't for that sitting issue and that, the older style crotch. Um, overall, I love the helmet. The figure looks great. The mech looks cool. It, this one's a little more fittier than the other one for some reason, and it doesn't make much sense because it's the same parts. You know, so there's just slight changes. But all in all, it's pretty, uh, pretty cool. These retail from uh, 85 bucks to 109 bucks here in the United States. So if you want one, they're pretty well available now. Hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that thumbs up for me. And share and like the video. And we'll see you in our next review.